Welcome to ODT Sports Show. As you can see, today we're at uh, Moana Pool. Nobody's been here in a long time, but I've just found three of the most famous swimmers in Dunedin. I've got Kane, Caitlin and Erica. So guys, what's been happening today? Not a lot. <laughs> Apparently you've been here since four o'clock this morning, Erica. Oh, rumour has it, but no, we have been. But look, seriously guys, it's been a, um, it's been a pretty big day for Otago swimming. So all three of you going to the Olympic Games. Talk me through it, Kane. Yeah, it's pretty special. Been finally named in the team it's been unofficially official for a couple of weeks so to have it official out everywhere especially with these two uh, it's pretty awesome are you the oldest swimmer in new zealand now <laughs> yeah close to it feels like it i feel like it every morning when i get out of bed as well four o'clock in the morning yeah pretty much yeah yeah but you just broke a new zealand record on the 200 meters i've done some work so uh, that must have been pretty special did that propel you into the into the games yeah pretty much i went under the qualifying time and went a little bit faster and broke the NZR as well, which was pretty awesome. Two birds, one stone. Outstanding work. So, Caitlin, were you surprised to make it? Uh, yeah, pretty surprised. So, that was pretty cool. So, you're, um, so you're on the, re the tournament relay, correct? Are you doing any anything else while you're there? Going for the cycling team or anything? <laughs> the what? The cycling team or anything while you're over there? Nah, they did say I might get pulled in for the gymnastics, but probably not. Right. And Erica, so you're the old stager of the team. They're telling me you've got a bully in the pool and you, you get the best lane. What's going on with that? Oh, I 100% get the best lane. I will push anyone out of my lane if I can. But is it a big day? I mean, from your point of view, pretty proud of Targa White. Three of you going to the, and three of the nine coming from little, you know, little funny old Dunedin. Oh, it's so special. I mean, I've grown up with a scuba and this one's coming a little bit later, but it doesn't make it any less special. So there it is. So look, and you two are dating, I understand. Is, is, but that's no, I've, two, those no two. so these two. <laughs> so Kane and Kate, but that's <laughs> So Kane and Caitlin are dating. You've been how long, you guys been going out for a while, I understand. I just been talking to your father by the way, I've got lots of deals. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I gave her a chance. She was kinda, you know, texting me, calling me, sliding in my DMs, everything, and I was like, oh, you know, I'll give you a chance and see how it goes, and it's been going all right. Is it going, from your point of view, Caitlin, is it going, like, is, what's he like to live with, you know? It wasn't until that comment. <laughs> <laughs> Might be the bus stop tonight. <laughs> but he's okay? Yeah, he does lots of the housework for me, so okay. he's great. So guys, look, seriously, so what happens from here? So I understand you might be off to Sydney in a couple of weeks, is that correct? Yeah, we hit over on Tuesday, so a pretty quick turnaround, but really looking forward to it. So that's just another competition, right? Yeah, just get a little bit more racing under our belts before the big show. And just quickly, a bit before we finish, we better talk about the fact that I've been looking around looking for the New Zealand coach, and he's not here. Lars Yuma, so why isn't he here today? There's cameras involved, so Lars is a no-show. So, I mean, so he hasn't changed, is he still just publicity show big time? Yeah, he says he hates it, but once you get him in front of it, he knows what he's doing, so I don't know what, what the real truth is. Well, I'm hearing rumours he doesn't even want to go to the Olympics, he wants to watch it on TV having a spates, is that correct, Erica? Yeah, that's the first thing he told me, he thinks he'd get a better view from at home, so, I mean, he can stay if he wants, but I think the three of us would really appreciate it if, you know, he can. Right, so, look, and just because, I mean, I've, I've known him way back a thousand years ago from rugby days, he was a pretty grumpy guy then, has he got any better? I think grumpier. Surely, surely he's not. That's terrible. He'd be worse than Duncan Lang. I never met Duncan, but I reckon he'd give him a run for his money. <laughs> so, like, I, but I bet you at the same time, guys, um, Duncan will be looking down, looking down from up on high. He'll be pretty proud that we've got three Otago swimmers going to the, uh, to the Olympic Games. So, look, congratulations, team. Good to chat today. Cheers. And hopefully next time we might even get Lars Humor on to find out what's really going on in his life. Back with you again soon.